We've got this model of prevention, and now you're talking about a model that's more like preemption. Yeah, and the difference I would say, I'm not, I'm not against prevention. Obviously we should do not. it whenever we can. But a lot of things people talk about a preemption, a pretty, a prevention tend to be pretty general. Mm -hmm. So actually, some of them are huge, like sanitation, but some of them are and not smoking and right. so on. But they're not specific to the patient for the most part. And so what I'm talking about is something where we actually look not just, the, not just your genetic predisposition, right. but what's actually going on inside your body right now and say, ooh, something's about to go wrong. Let's stop it before it goes wrong. So right now, the body has all these invisible processes. It's filled with millions and millions of invisible processes at the protein level, at the bacterial level, at all these expression levels. And what you're saying is we're finally unraveling them, which allows us to start to see what we might do to nudge it back. Yeah, the funny thing is this has kind of been the dream of medicine all along. I mean, that was, you know, that... I think that that was the dream of Ayurvedic medicine, or that was the dream of the people that were making those pictures of the, of the nadis, of somehow that you could look inside the body and kind of nudge it and tweak it and help it with its sort of natural capacity to be healthy. So the irony is a 5,000-year-old description of how we might want to just sort of keep us on a path turns out to be a scientifically valid way that you think in the next 30, 20 years we're going to do on an everyday basis. I think we're finally getting the tools to make that dream into a science. Well, we all can't wait, that's for sure. Thanks, Dan. Thank you.